Hello everybody. Welcome to another pack opening. This weekend, I was a little bummed out. I tried to go to the stores and purchase the brand new Champions Path, Elite Trainer Box, and pin sets, and all that fun stuff that just came out a couple days ago from when I'm recording this. But it sold out everywhere. I couldn't find it at a single store. I tried to go to Target and Walmart. None of them had it. Even tried a local game store around here, but according to them, they don't sell any product over 20 bucks, which is stupid. So they for sure would never have the Elite Trainer boxes, which the Champions Path one runs for 50 normally. So I was a little upset I couldn't find one to be able to buy it you know, right away this weekend. I did order a couple off of eBay for more than they should be worth. Those those Dane scalpers like this take up all the stock for themselves and make a profit but so there's that but while I was at Target I instead just bought a bunch of other stuff to cheer myself up and have some cool things to open this weekend I got one of these like an ultra ball what's inside this pokeball three booster packs and one coin I can hear the coin I forget what packs may be in these things, but then I bought there's a couple of these. Got a sword and shield, darkness ablaze, like three packs with an EV and a coin. And then this one is just like a Crimson Invasion and Evolutions with three cool like tapu pins. That's neat. Then I just grabbed a few packs of Rubble Clash when I was there. Let's see and then it's not Champion's Path, but it's a Darkness Ablaze Elite Trainer box. Which this is the first time I've actually seen one of these in stores. So I was hoping to get the Champion's Path one, but I should get a couple in a few days when the eBay order arrives. It's pissed me off I couldn't actually get them day one. It's probably the first time I ever wanted to get a card pack, you know, type thing day one. Because usually I just you know buy whatever's at the store, but wanted to have the latest set right away. All right, so we got the LA trainer box. Let's we'll save that to later. That can be like the big finale. And as you can see here, we're still looking for that Charizard V Max and in the Champions Path set, which I wanted to get. We should get some soon, hopefully. But there's a secret rare Charizard V Max. It's a secret rainbow rare, which is Pretty cool, as well as the shiny Charizard. Those are the cards everybody's looking for, and I'm sure why they're sold out everywhere. But in the normal Darkness Blaze, we're just looking for the regular VMAX Charizard. And I, I selected all the sets I'm opening today to show them all on one screen. See, I got the, uh, yeah, like the uh, Darkness Blaze, Rubble Clash, and I have like one Evolutions pack, and then one Crimson Invasion pack, which so I threw them in there. So that's where I would find this Charizard down here. That's the reprint of the original art and everything. But that VMAX, that's still the pricey one. But the Champion's Path set, I can't wait to be able to open some of those. They have the very cool shiny Charizard and, Sh and Rainbow Rare VMAX Charizard. Let's, let's start with this one. Let's go to all these packs first. These are technically Sun and Moon and XY, which came out a long time ago. So let's open this up. Open them pretty easily, that's nice. But we got ooh, three really nice pins. These are like official Pokemon Center style pins that have a very high quality build. Those are pretty nice. Yeah, nice. I like to collect pins, so these can be added to my pin collection. Get a closer look, closer view of this one. Yeah, that's nice. I do enjoy collecting pins. So that's another thing that's cool for the Champions Path. They come in, some of them come in little pin sets. They have like pins representing each of the Galar gyms. So I can't wait till I can get my hands on some of those. 
I'm sure I'll find them in stores eventually once the hype dies down a little bit. Let's see. Let's go evolutions first. Let's see what we got in here. A single evolutions pack. Let's just. Let's see, I forget the card trick for these since they're so old. Might be three to the back. We'll find out. Venusaur Spirit Link. Machoke. Drainer Super Potion. A Volpix. Fire Energy. A Voltorb. Charmander. It's nice. Diglett. And ooh, Needle Cane Break. So I guess that should be the rare one. And a Farfetched. I already have a Needle Cane Break actually that I pulled from one of these packs many years ago. You can actually watch me pull it on a video on my channel back when I, I think it was like in 2017, I did a few videos opening packs and I did pull a Needle King Break in one of those videos when I opened the, I think I had like two when I opened XY Evolution packs. In one of those videos I pulled the Needle King Break, but so let's just leave it, it's a nice one. Pretty cool. I would like something new or even the Charizard, but I'll take it. Alright. Oh yeah, I also have next to me here. In one of my last videos, may have been the actual last pack opening I did, I opened some Sword and Shield base set. I pulled this secret rare, rainbow rare, Marnie card. So I have her next to me for good luck. She's awesome. The secret rainbow rare. Like the one card I was really looking for, just because I really like this card. So she's sitting here for luck. I kept her out instead of putting her in the binder with the other rares. But we got a break card. And all these other commons. Put them over there. So hopefully Marnie gives us some good luck for these. Let's try Crimson Invasion. Yeah, you can go and check out some of those older videos of mine. Kind of when I was more amateurish on my channel. Opening is it three to the front? I don't know. It is good because then there's the energy. Put four to the front. Gives me the energy right in the first slot. Fighting memory. Gastrodon. Counter energy. I actually have a secret rare of this one. I don't know if I pulled it in one of those old videos. Maybe I did. Emeraid, Magikarp, Stuffle, Mill Tank Reverse, and it's a Primeape. Little, little like Clay Guy, look at him. He's cool, but nothing awesome. So those are just two little fun packs there for that little set. But now, might as well tear into this thing. Some Darkness Ablaze. These stupid bubble packages, whatever you want to call them. Never open. There we go. They always want to leave the backing on. Okay. Now these are the newer Darkness Ablaze, so we're looking for that Charizard V Max. Okay, we got a EV promo card that comes with this one. Cool EV. Eevee! Flying through space. <laughs> let's, we can, let's leave it out, I guess. Promo, so maybe someday people will want it. <laughs> but let's stick these guys over there. Okay, Marnie for good luck. All right. Darkness ablaze, let's do it. Then we'll have several more of them in this elite trainer box. Alright. Okay. Four to the front. 
Uh, lightning energy. Corvus Squire. Hiding energy. Legender. Bunnelby. Vanillite. Gossada. Nicket. Shelmet. Plus three to and ooh, Galarian Stunfisk V full art. Alright. Off to a good start. Pretty nice one. The full arts are always the nicer, more rare ones. Alright. Galarian Stunfisk V. I'll take it. So off to a good start for these Darkness Ablaze packs. Two more of those. Then we'll open some Rebel Clash. And we'll get into the Elite Trainer box. Alright. Let's see. Water. Flaffy. Carnivine. Cape of Toughness. Pan Sage. Golet. Vanillite, Trepinch, Teddy Ursa, Spike Move, and oh, Vekavol V. Nice, full art. I think I have a Vekavol V. I can't remember if it's the full art one or not, or just the regular one. Either way, this is a good pull. Man, these packs are pretty nice. You always kind of wonder if when you buy those little bubble packs to have three three different packs of cards in them if you're going to be ripped off or not but this was actually a pretty good one like <laughs> so far two have given me a, these nice full RVs and two so let's see if this third one's a full RV that'd be amazing can we go three to three let's find out that's a, those are pretty good pulls for little combo pack I picked up at Target because I think it was actually a combo pack produced by the Pokemon company now sometimes those third-party people that package them up you wonder are they trying to rip you off by giving you only bad packs that they weighed or something but this is actually an official product oops but ooh, it looks like there is something back there that might be good and see here more law he tried and another stun fist. This one's non full art, but still a V card. So we got the full art stun fist and then the regular stun fist. So that's, that's pretty pretty good pulls for those three packs. So you got the full art and then the then the regular. See them side by side, and you can tell it's full art because the picture extends all the way to the very bottom. Where in this one, it's kind of covered with some like different like white and a little blended color in there and then the name is also translucent on our clear and this one where it's I just kind of recently figured that out you know that okay that's how you tell and also the foiling on this guy is a little cooler a little more textured looking but we got two full arts and one regular that's that's a pretty good pull right there for that little blister pack of three darkness ablaze all right, so far we're off to a good start. We've had like, so we've opened like how many packs so far? We got like a a break card, then a little promo EV, but then these three Darkness Ablaze V cards. So I think we, of all the packs we've opened, only one of them was kind of nothing amazing. Or not like a full or a really cool hollow or anything. Come on, don't, let's try to open this one. Destroying the cards. Little cardboard protectors getting in my way. Alright, Rebel Clash. And the cardboard protectors in the store, I'm sure, do help a little bit because these are just hanging from shelves and cardboard keeps them crisp from getting banged around. All right, but I'll pretty much open it for no destruction. All right, psychic energy, bronze on, Milo, 
Shuckle. Cypher. Wallaby. Creepy. Magmar. Galarian Mask. Masquerade. And. Arcanine. Non holographic. Alright. Alright, we got three more rubble clash to open. Then we can dig break into that elite trainer box. See what we got. It's kind of cool. They had like target target had one darkness ablaze elite trainer box. Okay. Then they had like several other types of boxes from older sets. Which they always seem to have in stock, but and this was kind of a lucky find. But I was not lucky enough to get the champion's path. I, over, I underestimate how quickly those would sell out or how many people would want them. But I thought I could just go to Target Day 1 and find it easy, but nope. Lombre. Hatchroom. Curse Shovel. Trubbish. Pidove. Helioptile. Holt Orb. Sandy Gast. A Nugget. Reverse. And. Eskew. Holographic. We already have one of those, but from like my last Darkness Ablaze opening. But I'll just leave it anyway. It's still a holographic. Alright. See what else we can get. Seems like I haven't had great luck recently with these off the shelf individual packs in the cardboard. Because, you know, it's just random. You never know what you're going to get. They didn't come from any kind of box. Which, new normally, you're guaranteed at least some, some good ones. They're just hanging in there. Alright. Now. Water Energy. Skyla. I love her. Axio. Rack Cloak. Helioptile. Bone Edge. Litwick, Glarian Corsola, Pinnacle, a Stuffle Reverse, and Diggersby. Non holographic. Alright. So far, our luck has been kind of crap with these Rubble Clash. But hey, never know. For the last pack of luck here. Dark energy. Full heal. Training cord. Oh my. Fraud dropping them everywhere. Dublade. Magmar. Electabuzz. Squovit. Snover. Natu. Galarian Mr. Mime. And the last pack magic for Rubble Clash. Pinkert and V. I already pulled several of them. And the last openings I've done for Darkness Ablaze. But hey. Yeah, still a nice one. Just not what we want. We're looking for that Charizard V Max. But maybe, just maybe, we'll be lucky in the Elite Trainer box. Let's open this game. We've got the standard cool booklet, player's guide. Now we got the cool deck box that comes in with all the goodies, standard goodies we get in one of these. All right, little rule book. All right, cool. Take this out, and we got stick with some nice cool dice and damage and poison, whatever. All right, and we got. Some really cool sleeves. Alright, I'll take that. But, we got. And of course, they give you a buttload of energies. Don't really want those or need them much, but some deck box separators. As always, what we're really after are these boys the Darkness Ablaze packs. Actually, before we do these, Forgot. I have this. I'm not even sure what packs are in here. 
So, let's that'll be our final finale. But let us open up this Ultra Ball tin. Yeah, I kind of wanted to buy this too because it's a cool little tin to put on a shelf and display. Cool little piece. But let's get the plastic off of it. Alright, next. Open, says me. Okay, there's some Sun and Moon packs in here. They're all crunched up, but got a. Ooh, uh, Evolutions. Lost Thunder. I don't know if I've even ever opened any of those. Uh, Burning Shadows. They really jam them in there, don't they? <laughs> and they have a cool little Lucario coin. I'll take it. Not bad. But then I got the cool tin. Close that up. Cool tin. I can just sit on a shelf and looks all neat. Neat, cool Ultra Ball. But let's. I didn't even take into account the Lost Thunder pack when I was seeing what could be valuable. I'm not sure what's in this set. I feel like back in the X and Y and Sun and Moon era of the cards, I wasn't as big on the collecting of them. I don't know if there's a card trick. Alright, I don't know. Either way, we got this trainer. Uh, the Dene, Heracross, Trico, Chansey, oh, oh look at Chansey, Pachirisu, that's a cool looking one, Poplio, Spinarak, Ugarvor, Reverse, and, ooh, something cool, and, ooh, Suicune, GX, Full Art, I think, yeah, is that, yeah, well, here's another one, Energy, oh, whatever, it's pretty cool looking, yeah, I like that. Say, yeah, 60 out of 214. That's cool. So that's a pretty decent pull. I'll take a Suicune. So, add that to our collection of cars we've been picking up this opening. That's some good ones. Okay. Now let's try a burning. Let's do X and Y. Let's see if we can get that Charizard we've been looking for. All right, let's do three to the front. It's probably some form of a trick there for now. Metapod. Oh, Professor Oak's hint. Coffin. Magnemite. Pikachu, another Magnemite, all right, all right. another Pikachu, what the heck, <laughs> Jesus, all right, Doe Duo, Nine Tails Reverse, looking pretty cool, and Arcanine Non-Holographic, all right, nothing super special in that pack, I was very odd with the, getting a couple of duplicates in the same pack, that almost never happens, at the very least, sometimes you might get a, a normal and then a hollow with the same card. But that was kind of weird. What, what, what am I opening? I forget. I don't know. Do you three to the front? We'll probably we'll get close enough. Simi Poor, Soul Rock, Wishful Baton, whoops. Hoot Hoot, Rhyhorn, Routes, Tangela, Dynamo. Plumeria, Lolan Radicate, Energy, and oh, I guess the Lolan Radicate was the rare. <laughs> non holographic, though. So, nothing amazing in there. Let's see. Now, we're done with those packs. Now we can move on to our Darkness Ablaze. Come on, Charizard, Remax. That's what we're looking for. Charizard, Remax. Mm -hmm. Come on, alright. 
Metal, metal Energy, Simi Seer, Lunatone, Staravia, Skarmory, Pan Sage, Electrike, Fletchling, Galarian Mr. Mime, Yellhorn, and oh, Scissor V! Yes! Oh, I love it. Full art, Scissor V. That's oh, awesome. I love Scissor. That's kind of one I was really hoping to get from this set, I think, too. It's not a secret rare or anything, but it's the next best thing. A full, uh, full art, ultra rare. That one deserves a sleeve. I love Scizor. He's one of my favorite Pokemon. And he's, this is one I would really be hoping to pull. I got him. First pack out of this box. Look at him. That's so cool. Yeah, the full art. I love it. Fancy foiling. Looking amazing. All right, Marnie's bringing us luck. She's blessing the packs down there. Another Darkness Ablaze. Okay. Okay, let's see if our luck continues with that. All right. Mm -hmm. Water, Dartrix, Dedene, Bird Keeper, Mareep, Paris, Scossida, Skarmory, Cubchu, Morlul, and greet it. Mm -hmm. No holographic. All right, we got a few more of these to go. All right, about six or so more. Okay. Dark energy. Spike moose. Cape of toughness. Brava. Done sparse. After all these years, done sparse still doesn't evolve, which I think it should get an evolution someday. Just looks like kind of saying it should evolve, right? Yeah. Come some big bug dragon thing with huge white wings. Toxtricity and Pinkurchin, but just regular hollow instead of a V one. <laughs> okay. I don't think we've ever pulled that guy in normal. So, I'll take it. Okay, like five packs left. I really like that scissor. If that's the best pull we get for today, I'll be happy. Okay. Four to the front, and get our grass energy. Familiar Bell, Struggle Gloves, Clang, Fletchling, Wimpod, Grimer, Clink, Ducklet, Melmetal, and Star Raptor. Just a regular, and not a holographic, I don't think. Nope. Just a regular. Regular Star Raptor. Star Raptor's cool, but I want some awesome foils like that Charizard. V Max. Three more packs left. I'm waiting for you, Charizard. Lightning, Glimbo Tangle, Aeron, Parasect, Bopatas, Golet, Skitty, I know, Jigglypuff. Centret Lipard. Oh. Three more. Three more chances. The odds feel against us, but you never know. Our luck could change. We got that scissor, which is cool. At least it wasn't a complete waste. 
Brass, Struggle Gloves, Clang, Dartrix, Centric, Harvesta, Morlo, Toxel, Skitty, Golet, Center Scorch V Max. All right, that's awesome. Full art, V Max Center Scorch. I'll take that. It's a uh, yeah. It's just a regular. There is a secret rare version, I think, but I will take this one. Full art Center Scorch, pretty cool. All right, all right, all right. You know, it's not the fire type we were looking for, but. Still fire type nonetheless. So, hey, we got some good pulls here overall, even if we get nothing else. But both, both of these packs, so we got the Sun Scorch pack, all right, but the Charizard VMAX image on the front of this one. So we'll save him for last. See if that gives us any luck. Come on, Marnie. Marnie, put all your energy into this pack. Infuse it with your luck. Oh, I dropped one. Not the rare though, so that's good. <laughs> I don't know where I dropped it from. Was it in the front or the back? I don't know. Well, yeah. Oh man, I'm fumbling this. I'm fumbling it. But we'll see. Come on. Piers, Vanillish, Shenotic, Starly, Aaron, Cubchu, Rowlet, Jigglypuff, Skitty. Well, a dragon. No holographic. Hoping to see a peak of something awesome. All right, Marnie, have you blessed that pack? She has. All her energy has gone into it. I predict it will give us something good. I'm making my call. It's going to be amazing. If not, then we'll still got some good things, but oops. I don't want to mess that part up. All right. Fighting Energy. Relicanth. Zuelius. Familiar Bell. Aaron. Rookie Paris. Larvitar. Hippopotas. Yellhorn. Blaziken. But it is a holographic. Not, like, once again, not the fire type we wanted, but. I'll take it. I do love Blaziken. Just a regular hollow. I'll take you. You're pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Alright. There you go. And that's all the packs we have for today. So I think Marnie gave us a little bit of luck because we did get a awesome full art scissor V. Full Art Santa Scorch V Max, Full Art Vika Volt and Stun Fisk V. We did pretty well. We got that cool Suicune from that one older pack, Sun and Moon something or other. But all right, I think we did pretty good. It's always good to have a stack full of V cards and V Max cards and GXs and stuff. It's always a win. And a decent day's work. I really love we got, I got Scizor. I love Scizor. That's my that's my best pull of the day. And second best would probably be the Send of Score to VMAX. That's a good one. Well, I think I will wrap this video up for now. Hope you enjoyed seeing me open some packs. It wasn't the champion's path opening I was hoping to do. But in a few days, I should get some of those packages in the mail from eBay and stuff that have a couple Elite Trainer boxes for the Champion's Path set. And then we can open them, see if I can get the Shiny Charizard or the Secret Rainbow Rare Charizard VMAX. Which is technically an upgrade from the one I'm trying to get, find from Darkness of Blaze. Secret Rare version of the same card. So everybody... Stay safe, have an amazing day, and thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.